We love hip hop. Oh, uh, let's see. Florida rapper Jack Boy speaks about Kodak Black allegedly getting shot. Oh, that was a big fucking deal that um I didn't put in my news reels of the year for this year. Hold on, I want to bring it back. I didn't put that as one of um the news stories just because like be honest this is one of the most mixed up shits that happened this year but crazy news stories of 2022 is the alleged alleged because there's no this like there's there's no proof on this okay so we're gonna stay on the alleged life okay we ain't doing these Bitch, oh no. accusation Nigga games turn you out the red man for two three months cardi b done saw you with your ass all up certain people in the industry been new but it was always a little hush secret because who it happened to. It was like, oh shit. Yeah, and who it happened by? Who you got your ass up by? That shit like, whoa, what? Okay. Like, no, nah, you let him do you like that, fam? Oh, no. You let him do you like that, fam? I ain't one thing about it. I don't underestimate no nigga. But the nigga that did it. What's that supposed to mean? If I'm pressed, I'm asking this nigga, so what's that supposed to mean? Like, I ain't do nothing. But what's that supposed to mean? That, like, I can't do nothing? What you trying to say, my nigga? Like, because, like, you got to understand, Jack Boy and Pressa have a connection together. Blackberry Zap, um, which is one of my favorite Pressa songs, to be honest, to be honest with you. Um, that's featuring Jack Boy. Right? So this is from way back. And the fact that, you know, now, you know, Jack Boy and Kodak over the, I can't say over the years, over 2022, have seemed to have had an issue. You know what I'm saying? They, they, Jack Boy was originally one of Kodak's artists, for the people who are not in the know of this, okay? Jack Boy was originally one of Kodak's artists, and somewhere along the way, they ha- started having a dispute there was a whole bunch of coverage on all, especially the, the American mainstream, but the hip hop mainstream outlets were all covering the Jack Boy um, Kodak Black issues. OK, so I don't know if it's something that we were completely up on the in the know about over here, but it's it's been a thing. OK, so when whatever alleged error, when the issues happened with Kodak Black and Pressa that resulted in whatever alleged type of things that they're now you know putting on the mandem um people you know myself included started thinking was this something because maybe press had worked with uh one of kodak's ops all right that was a question to be said or a question to be asked but at this whole time now i never really really seen any types of uh response from jack boy so now to see this, I don't know what y'all think, comment gang. Is this is this something that where where can this end? You know what I'm saying? Because like with Pressa being one of ours, we need him, and I feel like I'm I feel like I'm having deja vu. We need him to be able to travel around the United States and do his fucking thing. Over time, I see that time uh, things have changed also with Pressa's situation. So. He might not have the same type of, uh, for lack of a better term, protection or backing that he had before when he had the label and all the extra money and, and, and interest involved, right? Because the label has their interest involved in this person. They got to make sure to protect their their investment. Where did this lead Preston now? Comment gang strong. Let me know what y'all think, okay? I'm going to also be putting this as a separate segment. You know what I mean? Is this um? Can these guys maybe? And I feel like this is something stupid to be asking a lot of times. Maybe find some way of getting behind the scenes and resolving these issues, because a lot of these issues can get resolved if the mandem just like literally get on the phone, 
Um, maybe not link up because it can get wild if they link up, but get on the phone and be like, yo, fam, uh, what are we even beefing about in the first place? Like, niggas, we're not even from the same country. So, technically, they can't be beefing over, like, street shit. When you really, really think about it, it's not like these niggas is beefing over territory. They weren't even in the same city. Or the cities, their respective cities where they're from when the beef popped off. So, it's it can't be that deep. The problem is with, with niggas in, the, in our culture is that beefs that ain't that deep get deeper because mans escalate shit. Mans will escalate the fucking, the issue over little shit. So for example, niggas shooting up the place over a chick. Okay, you fucked my bitch. Oh my God, now I got to shoot up the place? Come on, fam. That's a, that's a small thing in the end of the day. But a lot of niggas is willing to take it there over small shit. And now you can't come back. But this doesn't mean you can't come back. If you realize that it's over small shit, like it's not generational beef that these guys are, are having an issue over, even with somebody at this point catching a legas, it is something that, could, you know, they can resolve it. They can maybe get behind the scenes and have some phone calls where this gets resolved in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Because in the end of the day, these niggas is both big entertainers. They're both out there trying to get money. And the least amount of things that you got to look over your shoulder for when you're out in the world trying to get money, the better. That's just my opinion. It could be the shrooms talking, but I feel like I'm giving some pretty sound advice right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay Cadro or Castro says, I don't know why YouTube blocked this. These millennial girls don't deserve no man shooting another man over them. Laugh out loud. <laughs> they're, the, they're the Gen Z's. They're, we're the millennials. Or I think, well, actually, y'all are the millennials. I'm a, I think I might be a, still on the boomers. That's the Generation Z. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get emotional over nothing. Um, what else do we got going on here? We love hip hop. 